Welcome back. Today I'm going to replace the 80 meter low pass filter relays on my Elecraft KX PA100 amplifier. It recently quit working on 80 meters and Elecraft sent me the parts so today's the time to get them fixed. Let's get started. First thing we have to do is disassemble the enclosure itself, taking off these bumpers. We'll do that and store all the screws and lock washers in a safe place. What you're looking at right now is the auto tuner module, which I'll have to take off as well to get to the low pass board, actually, right below it. J1, J2, simple enough. to be four screws some pins right here to connect into the board below it and right here Very careful separating the boards. So you have these connecting the boards together to complete all the circuitry. This is the low pass filter board. And I'd say those are the two relays right here that I'll replace. I guess we have this is the 80 meter low pass filter. Then this is 40, 20, 15, 10, 6. 12 meters, 17, 30, 60, and 160. So those two should be the ones I have to replace. And we'll have to take this board off as well. I guess I'm not taking these off. 
Didn't think I'd be in here with a pair of pliers. Let's break them loose. Yep. Standoffs acting as screws. same kind of connections here. Looking at which we have to unsolder. It looks like maybe these there. Let's get things out of the way. Get this on the stand. Choke with my stand is good enough to hold this heavy board. It's like a little engine, engine stand here. Looks pretty nice. Now this is a solder wick and we'll heat it up on the connection and it will draw the solder away from the part and into itself helping me free the parts. All right, returning here, we've got both of the relays out, and this board is really heavy for this little stand. And we shall put them back in. Pretty simple, can't really mess up the polarity on these or orientation. Both should be the exact same relay as they all appear to be the same exact relay. I'm out of scotch tape, so we'll take a small piece of duct tape and try to tape those in to the other relays and lightly to the board until I can get, get them tacked in, make it a whole lot easier trying to solder them. Oh, yeah. 
Now, what most people do wrong when they solder is they heat the solder up on the iron and let it flow. <clears throat> you really need to heat the part with the iron and let it flow. That way you don't get a cold solder joint or some other issues. And see how they flowed. Just you know, practically blind here. Hopefully little did none of that was lost. My uh, phone was upset saying I was running out of memory and I think it quit recording. Even though I, don't, I still have about 20 gigs left on it. All right, there she is, fully reassembled. We'll uh, take it over to the, the station and get it back in line and test it, see if it works. All right, here we have it back in line on the station. And if you watch this right here, we've got a full 100 watts out again, and we should be good to go. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you, you enjoyed this. I've definitely 
cut down or sped up the, the video on this so you didn't have to spend an hour or two with me. Um, please like it, subscribe, share it, and we'll see you next time.